hi, welcome back. Um, today I'll grab another go on the lathe. Um, the last um, video I did, which I don't think I've put out yet, um, I don't think I did too bad with it. Um, I was quite happy, looked really smart in the end. Um, had a few issues, a few breakages um, with the, uh, either my tools not sharp enough, which I sharpened them just before using them or whether it was just my technique, which I think is more my technique. Um, the, it kept just sort of uh, s um, snatching and, and taking big chunks out. Now, I do understand that the piece of wood that I used, which is very similar to mahogany, uh, Utah, um, it's quite difficult to turn anyway, so um, it's quite brittle from what I understand. I could be wrong. Um, well, I, I did have a little read about it and it does seem to be quite a difficult timber to turn. Um, so I, I don't think it was the best thing to practice um, on, but hey, I was quite pleased with the outcome. Um, so today I'm going to do something similar. I think I'm going to do something like a goblet or something like that um, with this American ash. Now, I, I've not read anything about this. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it turns like. I haven't got a clue. I'm just going to have a go. Good thing is, is my tracks turn up. Um, and I have had a little play with it. Um, just turning some little tiny bits and pieces. Nothing of, of great interest. And uh, just to see how it works. And I seem to be quite pleased with it. Um, it just leaves a, a slight dilemma, um, as I'm new to this, about how I'm going to attach this. Now, I could do what I did before, which is just um, do centre to centre, uh, like a spindle um, type clamp vice, um, and, and, and round it off. Or I could use where is the little device? There it is. I could find the center, drill a hole, screw that in, and put it into the chuck because um, it has a dovetail edge and try it like that. Or I could just put it in the chuck like so. Which it does go, there we go. I don't know if there is a correct way. I'm not sure. Like I say, I'm new to this. Um, if you've got any ideas or any comments, please put them below because I'd love to learn a little bit more about it. I watch plenty of YouTube channels um, where they are showing how to do these um, types of things and it seems to be like personal preference which when you're learning it doesn't really help <laughs> well it does because you can see what different people are doing but um, yeah it makes it a little bit more difficult but uh, yeah so I'm going to give it a go um, I'm not going to use this I think from, from what I've seen of this it probably helps with things like bowls and things like that Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure, um, but I'll save that for another for another um, job. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it into the chuck and then tighten it in, and then um, bring the tail stock up to the centre that I've marked already, and uh, just round this off. Let's give it a go, shall we? Right, so that's the end I've marked up. So I put this end in the chunk. So oh, there we go. Like that. More like that. Like that, I think. Okay. Just 
tighten this up. I really do wish I would have looked. I mean, I suppose it's alright to begin with, but it's quite complicated doing this. Unless I can change the headstock. Um, which I, can't, I don't know. I might be able to. I'll have to look into that. So let's push that in. So that's firm in there. And we've got these. I'm not sure I'll get these the oh, wrong way. Nice and tight. Right. <clears throat> so that's that in. Okay. On its slowest, let's start her up. Seems quite safe. Put the lock nut in. Okay. Now, let's move the tool rest into place. Well, I've only got one tool rest. So I'm going to need to get some more at some point. Because one thing I've found already, apart from this being annoying, um, is that. With some jobs, this is too too big. Um, so I suppose with this, I suppose I could could have done with a, a slightly smaller one, to be honest. There you go. Um, I think that's in the wrong place. I'll try to keep it away from the chuck there. I don't want that. If I do slip, I don't want it catching the chuck. And then raise this to about there. Again, I'm not 100% certain. It's like. Okay. Without the tail stuck in. Ah, so there's the benefits of having a chuck. Like it. Right. Okay. There. Just like that in. That's it. Cool. So let's uh, round this off. So I'll just get a roughing gouge, round this off. Get my face protection. It's bloody cold outside, hence the gloves. Um, it's snowing at the minute. So here we go. <laughs>
Okay. So, from what I've seen on some of the channels I've watched, is that they they drill into the end. Now, I do have a chuck. I do have something that I can drill in the end with. I'm not going to go too far with. I'm not going to be able to go too far with it. Although, I mean, it's probably going to be adequate for what I want at the moment. I've never done a goblet. So, let's give it a go, shall we? All right. So, I bet you all wonder where I came up with the name for the channel. I'll give it a go. I'll give anything a go. Right. Okay.
Okay, my heart's in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. It's not brilliant. But it will do. So, um, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I got it wrong, slightly. Uh, it turned out okay, don't get me wrong. I'm quite happy with it, but I should have done that first. I, I, bought, I drilled the hole out, and before shaping all of the rest of this, I should have, I should have, um, I think I should have, um, shaped inside the goblet first and then trim this down because that was too weak to to put in the chuck and then for that to support the the pressure from the chisels mm. I'm sure if there is anybody out there that does wood turning that has the misfortune of coming across my channel and watching me really get it wrong. Um, yeah, they'll probably be sitting there laughing at me. Um, whether they did the same mistakes or not, I really don't know. Like I say, I'm new at this. That's my excuse. <laughs> um, but yeah, if anybody does have any advice, please pop it down in the... Um, down below and uh, I'll read them and take it all on board I think but yeah I'm happy I'm happy thanks for watching see you next time bye bye